My project is on improved sanitary health for girls' education, and this is about sanitary pads, providing sanitary pads to girls in school so that they can be able to attend schools regularly because they miss school because of their period. And so we are proposing to give them sanitary pads. Um, and the, the normal sanitary pads are very, uh, very expensive and largely unaffordable to the rural community at two dollars a month. What we are proposing is to produce reusable sanitary pads that can be used uh, that at a cost of one dollar for six months because it's a kit of 12 pads that are rewashable and uh, after you buy them, in the next purchase you need to make is after the next six months. With this, we'll be giving training also to the girls on sexual maturation for them to understand their bodies and be comfortable with who they are and understand that menstruation is a natural practice that should not be feared and uh, how to manage themselves. And how do, you this, how do you think this will affect girls' education in Kenya? This will improve on girls' education in Kenya because out of um, each a girl misses about five days of school, three to five days of school because of her period every month. Now, if you're able to take care of that, then a girl can attend school every month for the five days that she misses. You must understand that she could miss periods even at the time, she could miss classes even at the time when there is an exam. So that impacts negatively on our educational performance. So if we are able to address these problems, girls can go to school on all the days and be able to, prefer to compete on a level, on a better level with the boys in school. And we believe that this will lead to better transition rates from primary to secondary and from secondary to university and will help girls to be more visible in all sectors. And why should you win development marketplace? I should win develop marketplace because uh, my project addresses the needs of girls and girls are needed in the development of at the world in meeting the millennium development goals even of achieving gender parity and so I believe my project addresses that in that it helps remove the blockages that some of the blockages that are preventing girls from achieving equal education yeah girl power <laughs> thank you so much thank, thank you. you good luck thank you